LG X Power versus Samsung Galaxy S5. Let's go. So, what is up, guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech, and welcome to this LG X Power versus Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is to help you to decide which phone is going to be better for you. You might have an S5 and it's time to upgrade, but you don't want to go and buy a premium phone. You've seen the X Power, and you're like, you know what? I kind of like that X Power. But the Samsung Galaxy S5 is a previous flagship, whereas the S po X Power here is a mid range kind of budget device here. But you're going to be surprised how good this LG g phone is here in this test so let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time in three two one so you can see just how far budget phones have come i mean the lg has a bigger screen a thinner body better battery life but it doesn't have removable battery or waterproof like the s5 and it doesn't have quite as good a screen but you're going to see that it's a pretty nice performer here on both devices so looks like who's going to get there first lg or samsung life is good yes it's always good but who's going to get there first lg or Samsung LG or Samsung let's see it looks like the LG X power is gonna take the win to the home screen so LG UX 5.0 here Samsung's touch Wiz on the right here Samsung AMOLED display here on the right LG IPS display 720p 1080p 2.5 gigahertz uh, quad-core processor here for the Samsung Galaxy S5 2 gigs of RAM 2 gigs of RAM with an octa-core CPU here on the LG X power 8 megapixel camera on the back, 16 megapixel camera on the back of the S5, 2 megapixel camera on the front of the S5, as well as a 5 megapixel front camera here on the G, on the X Power. So I do have some apps lined up and I want to go ahead and test these guys out here while we do this. Now the S5 does have all the features in the kitchen sink, but its software can be a little bit slow from time to time, but it does have an excellent screen and it does have a respectable performance. But let's go ahead and show you that everything is closed out there now. No recent apps open on either device and let's begin with the speed test. So we're going to begin this speed test with the calculator on both devices in three, two, let's go. And you can see the LG X Power blistering out of the gate. Let's go home here on both. X Power is going to go home quicker because it does have a home button on the uh, software instead of the physical. Physical always takes time to press down, unless, of course, you got the new capacitive. Well, it's not even really like a physical home button anymore on the iPhone 7. But let's go ahead and go into clock on both devices in 3, 2, let's go. And you can see it looked about the same. Maybe the S5 slightly ahead. Let's go home here. But you can see that budget phones have easily caught up to prior yesteryear flagships in terms of performance. Not so much in terms of the screens and the cameras, though. Let's go into phones. And that's where I'm really waiting for budget phones to catch up to these older flagships is in the camera department. So the LG X Power did beat it on the phone. If you were paying attention there, it did beat it. So let's go home here. And I think the LG does have slightly nicer software. It's cleaner. Um, the screen's not as good as the S5, but it has better software, in my opinion. It just looks newer more modern more clean as expected it is 2016 phone this is a 2014 phone but you might be upgrading and that's why we're doing this video let's go into play store and you could see the play store did open quicker on the it looks like the s5 is going to take it i don't know what's going on over there on the x power on that one so the s5 definitely going to get the win there on the play store so nice stuff for the s5 there let's go home here and i also did should you buy a galaxy s5 in 20 late 2016 which is still kind of relevant you can go ahead and check that video out down below in the description card up above let's go ahead and go into instagram on both in three two let's go and let's see what happens there lg x power easily to the home screen there let's come home and let's go to let's see let's see if we got something we could do similar here let's go to amazon both devices looks like the x power ahead yes no the a samsung is going to win that one so let's go to ebay here on both devices you can see the s5 blazing out on that one so they're flip-flopping here so the s5 is showing that it, do, it still does have respectable performance here let's go to chrome on both devices here and let's do a browser test on both of these devices respectively. So let's go ahead and go to Yahoo here on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Yahoo here on the LG X Power. And let's hit go in three, two, let's go. And let's see what happens here for both of these devices. The LG X Power is ahead, but the S5 looks like it's going to take the win. No, the, XG, the LG X Power just took the win there. In terms of the actual scrolling speeds, I'd say the LG is slightly smoother than this S5 over here. And I do like the software. It's a little bit more optimized, a little bit cleaner here for the LG X Power. Now let's go ahead and try, let's see if we got the play music here on the LG 
G- X Power. I keep saying G because it looks like a lot like the uh, G5 in terms of the software. Let's go into Play Music here on both. See what happens on the Play Musics and the S5. So the S5 might be a slightly faster phone here than the LG X Power, but the X Power is still a nicely optimized device here and for 2016, even going into 2017 here. Pretty nice optimization here for the LG X Power. Let's go into YouTube on both devices in three, two, let's go. And you could see LG X Power. So if you're looking for a performance upgrade, the LG X Power is gonna feel slightly quicker in my opinion than the S5. Even though the apps were opening, in my day-to-day experience, I felt like the LG X Power did have a bit better performance here than the Samsung Galaxy S5. Just my personal take on it. Let's go home here and you could see, let's do some multitasking now on both devices. Very similar card UI, you can see very smooth in terms of just the scrolling, but that's not what matters. Let's see how the RAM management is. Let's go into calculator. You can see the X Power slightly quicker. Both had to reload though. Let's go into YouTube. X Power way ahead there, unless I missed that tap. I might have missed that. Let's do that again. Okay, that was about even actually. I missed the tap. That was on me. That was on my boy. That was on me. Let's go to uh, Chrome here. LG X Power slightly ahead. Let's go to eBay's right here. About the same there if you ask me. Let's go into Amazon. And looks like the S5 would have took that one. Either way, let's do contacts or phone dialer. You can see LG X Power. So they flip flop here and there. But you know, if you guys are looking for much better battery life and you're coming from an S5, the X Power is gonna give you much better battery life. Here's the advantages of the X Power. You're gonna get better battery life, like I just said. You're gonna get, um, you know, you're gonna get the newer feel of Android, like a newer modern looking feel. I think this touch with looks a little bit, you know, dated. This looks more like the latest LG skin. So you're gonna get that here. You're going to get a 0.1 inch bigger screen, so very slightly bigger screen. You're going to get a bigger body, and you're going to get a lighter phone. This is a slightly lighter phone, from my experience. And this is also, you know, a thinner phone. So you're going to get a thinner phone here with the LG. Other than that, you don't really improve too much in any other area. On the S5, you're going to get a better screen. You're going to get waterproof. You're going to get a 16 megapixel camera with a heart rate sensor. You're going to get a worse camera on the front on the S5 than the uh, X Power, if you ask me, from my experience. But I think there's more advantages to the S5 over the X power in this comparison so for me the winner if I had to pick one of these would be the s5 but if you crack the screen and you're looking for a cheap phone the X power is going to be a great option for you to hold you over until you get your next flagship device so anyway that's gonna wrap this comparison up of the LG X power versus the Samsung Galaxy s5 this was Nick here helping to master your technology subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this which of these two phones would be your pick Drop that in the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this, and I will catch you all in the next one. Be sure to be well, and peace.